Hey, Redder Than YouTube. So today we're going to be doing a review for PJ's Wings and Things. i got my daughter here today to help out with the review. She's uh, sick from school, uh, so she's going to help me do this because I have to stay home with her. Uh, and it's located, uh, PJ's is located on the North Side Market. I'll be putting some information about uh, where, how to get a hold of them, where they're located, and their website and stuff down in the description, so you can check that out. Um, anyways, let's jump into the review. So according to uh, PJ's site, they do walk-ins, takeouts, and catering. Uh, and I think that's pretty average for um, for a food truck. Um, now, I've tried to go there in the past a few times, and uh, now I'm just being stupid because um, they had a, a part of their window covered by wood and that plastic went over it. I assumed they were closed or shut down, uh, but they weren't, so that was just me being stupid. So I missed out on going a couple of times. So their workers were very kind, and they seemed to have quite a few workers. There's three to four there, people working, uh, and they were very happy to answer my questions, and they seemed to be very quick and efficient with making their food. They had a process that seemed to work well, um, and the lady at work the front window was very nice, uh, and PJ himself greeted me and shook my hand. When I was ordering, it was busy though, so I, I felt a little rushed when I was trying to ask some extra questions. I wasn't really rushed when I was uh, taking my order though, but it, when I was asking the questions, I did feel like maybe they wanted me to move on. Um, I did return later and ordered something additional, and I was able to ask more questions and get answers I wanted, and they were very happy to answer then, and they took the time to explain some stuff, which was nice. Um... They also told me about a farm where they get their meat. PJ told me about a farm they get their meat. I forget what the name of it was. Uh, they said it was on the border of Quebec and New Brunswick on the New Brunswick side. I think it was called Woo Farm, but I'm not sure. When I uh, tried to message them on Facebook to clarify, uh, I didn't get a response. So I'm unable to inform you of what that was. But, uh, yeah... Uh, also, they told me they sell about 2,000 wings a, a weekend, which is pretty good if you ask me. And uh, they have 12 different sauces available. So that's quite a variety of sauces to try through wings or ribs. I'm going to read their mission statement out loud for you. Provide our customers with fresh quality products. We promise to deliver an unparalleled dining experience. We offer a world-class chicken product at a reasonable price and consistent quality. As you're going to see through this video, uh, I do agree with the statement for the most part. Now, I do want to point out some things about their website. I noticed a couple of inconsistencies. Um, I noticed that their menu doesn't have everything on it that their on-site offers. Like it shows ribs when you go to the on-site. In fact, I ordered the ribs, but on their website, they don't have that. Now, I'm sure they just forgot to update that. Um, I don't know if there's any other differences. I didn't really look into it. Um, I also noticed the prices were different. Uh, the prices on the website are much lower. Now, I don't know if that's because they offer different prices for catering or something like that, or if they just forgot to update it when they rose prices. I do suspect they just forgot to update it. Either way, I think it's very important that they rather clarify the, the reason for the different prices or they uh, adjust them to be appropriate uh, so people don't show up with the wrong amount of change or something like that. Uh, and it, I mean, it is a little deceiving. I'm sure it was an accident. I don't think it was intentional. Uh, regardless, I do find their prices reasonable. Um, like for instance, the difference between a six uh, thing of wings on their website was five dollars, and on site it was uh, five seventy-five. I don't think that's that much more. I mean, you could say seventy-five cents is a lot more. Almost brings it up to a dollar per wing, but uh, I don't think that's any more unreasonable than what somewhere else may charge you. So I thought it was good. Um, and um, the quality was good, too. I thought the quality was good. And I'm not sure. This is kind of a funny story. I'm not sure if I heard correctly or not. But when I was waiting outside for my food to be prepared, I'm pretty sure I heard them say that they said I, they knew I was a reviewer for YouTube. Uh, and I'm not sure if I misheard that, but I did hear them talking about something in relation to me while I was outside. So I thought that was pretty funny. So I ordered a quarter rack of ribs and six wings, and uh, 
So I guess to go into what, how I enjoyed them, I thought both of them were really good in quality, tasted good. Um, but to mention some specific things on them, uh, the ribs I found uh, a little dry, and the spice or uh, sauce, I'm not sure now which one it was, I think it was the spice on it, but it made it really look burnt, like that part got cooked too much. Although it doesn't change the flavor negatively or anything, it just, it just looks less appealing. But next to that, it looked and tasted really good. I don't have any complaints or anything really about it. Uh, I mean, I don't mind the dry ribs, but it's something I know a lot of people, when they prefer their ribs, they want them, like, moist, kind of, like, fall off the bone. Um, and now to get into the wings, I found the batter tasted really good on them. Like, I actually really liked it, surprisingly, because uh, I like my wings 10 with, like, pretty much no batter on it. But the uh, the batter on this was really good, so I enjoyed it. Um, the meat was a little dry, too, on this, but, uh, I don't really complain about that either, like I said, I don't really mind the dry, the dryness, uh, I find it makes it better for dipping, uh, into sauces, but, um, I can understand why some people might want it more moist, and, uh, the, I found the wings were more compatible with the sauces than the ribs, to be honest, like, I tried some on the ribs, they were alright, but I think I preferred the, um, the wings, for sure, with the, uh, with the sauce. So to talk about the sauces real quickly, I tried 6 out of 12 of the sauces, and I found them um, all fairly alright. Um, and now I'm going to list them from hi highest I like the most to the bottom, the ones I like the least, and try to mention a little bit about them. So the buffalo was the first, or the best one I liked. It was spicy, had a nice burst of flavor, and I thought it tasted really good. Now the second I considered the barbecue sauce that they gave me. I understand they have two different types, so I'm not sure which one I had, but I had one of the barbecues. I found this one also full of flavor and tasted good. Now I also tried the PJ's white sauce. Um, and I considered it third best. It had a ranch-like ta uh, taste, I found, and a nice texture. I like the texture, but the taste I considered about average. Uh, now, we had the fire in the hole. Um, I found it clears the nose really good and spicy, so it's one of those things I think I would like to eat when I was sick or stuffy, uh, kind of like I am now. I'm kind of stuffy now, but uh, I, I would definitely prefer to take the buffalo or the barbecue over this for sure. Then uh, in fifth place, we have the honey garlic. It had a, uh, maybe a little bit too strong of a garlic taste, but I don't know, maybe most people like that. Um, it was good, and it was, a, it was a little runny, too, was the other thing. But, I mean, when you're just dipping it, it's not a big deal. Uh, and then they had their second degree, easily my least favorite out of the six I tried. Uh, not hot at all, like, not even remotely. Maybe I consider it, like, almost... Maybe a little sweet? I don't know. It was just not hot. Uh, it kind of reminded me of like like a little bit of noodle spice that you get in some of the noodle packages that's not hot, just spicy, if that makes any sense. Hi, Serenity. Remember that wing we had the other day? Yeah. Yeah? Was it good? Yeah. Yeah? From 1 to 10, how much did you like it? Uh, 10. 10? Oh, you really like it. Anything particular you liked about it? Daddy. You like daddy? But I'm talking about the wings. You like the wings too, right? Yeah. Yeah. And you like the sauce? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. You looked like you liked it. So to tie everything up and come to a conclusion, I consider it like a 7.5 or an 8 out of 10. Um, now the ribs were okay. I wouldn't consider them anything special, but I really did enjoy the wings like quite a bit. Um, I kind of wish I had like a 12 pack or more so I could have shared with my family that was with me. Um, I do highly recommend them and uh, I thank the, the DARP um, from Reddit for making this suggestion for me to come here. And uh, other people actually made suggestions too, but that was the most recent one. So um, I appreciate it. I was glad I actually did end up going. Uh, my, mo my mother, my daughter, and my wife all enjoyed the one wing they had. They thought it was really good. Um, and if I can get access to coupons or gift cards from JP's, I uh, will be doing that. Hopefully they sell them. Um, and so you guys can get a chance to, to go yourself, and I can offer them on another giveaway. Um, and, uh, yeah, I guess that will be everything. Thanks, guys, for watching.